Hey guys, welcome to PSN. We're gonna have on the jeweler's vault today, we're gonna have some rings, some earrings, some necklaces, so some nice stuff for you there. Also on Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray, we're gonna have some thermometers, an old low and brow beer case. We're also gonna have an old jug. And for our ladies and guys that like the little Christmas villages, we're also gonna have some of that. So stay tuned for Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray. Also on Sound Shopping, we're gonna have some banjos, some guitars, and a little bit of everything, guys. I'm Kenny Barnes, and I'm a pawnbroker. My family and I have been doing brick and mortar stores for 29 years. We've got 10 of them across the Carolinas. Ever since we opened our first store in 1989, we've been battling the reputation of one of the world's oldest industries. I believe every American ought to have access to a pawnbroker they can trust. So, we created the Pawn Shopping Network, our new online store and live TV show. We want to change your mind about pawnbrokers, one transaction at a time. Our crew's here to help you, so now let's go pawn shopping. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Pawn Shopping Network. Hey everybody. Are you ready, Chad, to do some pawn I shopping? You weren't with us last week. I was on vacation. I was having a good time. We missed you. It was uh, it was chaotic here without you. The jewelry show just, you know, we started and then we stopped. You just had to end it, right? We had to end it. Chad's it was, not here, so we're done. We recovered very well though and we did good. But we did miss you. you. Send you some shout outs. And speaking of shout outs, it. those of you that are already joining in, I'm looking at our Facebook feed. We have several people watching. So if you're watching, just be sure to give us a thumbs up. Let us know where you're watching from. If you're in Wilmington, Delco, Alabama, Texas, anywhere, just let us know where you're at so we can see who we're reaching. Oh yeah. That's what we like to do here. So thanks for joining us. We are here at the Jewelers Vault and we're ready to do some pawn shopping with some nice jewelry today. Chad, what yeah. do we have? Have. We have got a nice man's cluster to begin with. Ooh. It's got nice filigree sides on it. It's a good looking ring, quarter carat, like a size ten and a half. It's a beautiful ring. That is we'll pretty. let Ethan on his final show with us here get a little yeah, close up action Ethan's on that. Yeah, today Ethan's last day with us. We're going to miss him as our cameraman, but oh, he yeah. is moving on to higher places. So congratulations, Ethan. Oops, sorry. Ten carat yellow gold. It's got filigree sides on, as you can see, kind of like a antique looking ring, but it looks brand new. It's that a good looking really ring. Pretty. Five ninety nine ninety five. It's heavy, size ten and a half, and I can size that for you. It's got seven diamonds in it, as you can see there, and they're and they're very nice looking diamonds too. Very clean, very clear, bright. Yeah, and y'all, you know, that's a very dynamic picture we have on the screen there. I think both those pictures in the corner and the live shot here on my hand does it really, does do it justice. But you can go to our mm -hmm. website, pondsouth.com. You can find this ring under the jewelry you know, where you can search for it. And when you get there, just like any of our items, you can take your mouse and hover over that ring and it will magnify it multiple times. And, and you can see the detail and the condition of this ring from every, every angle there. For those of you who missed Father's Day, getting your father a gift. There you go. Not too late. You okay. can just tell him that it was in the mail, and That's we'll right. mail it just to you today. Here. And we'll mail it out today if you yeah. order it today. And we'll also, Chad, if this isn't the right size for somebody, you can size it up or down. Yeah. And so that'll Easy. be, um, we can do that for you too. And we do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So um, give us a shout-out if you're interested in this ring. This is item 4229 mm -hmm. It's a beautiful ring, guys. It is pretty. Very pretty. All right, that's item number one, and we're going to go on to item number two. We have got some Today everyday, is, everybody yeah. loves hoops, and these are 14 karat rose gold. So we haven't had a lot of hoops on, but today we have several yeah. pairs, so I'm excited to show these, yeah, and these I'm not about sure how I'm going to show them. These are quarter in diameter, so they're nice. they got the little flip-up latch on them. We'll give you all a close-up. I've never mm -hmm. showed hoops really close up, so this is going to be... Yep. 139 um, there and like go. I said, they are 14 karat and they're rose gold, which is very popular right now. Yeah. And it's that got, like gold. I said, the Ethan, little... if I lay that down, is that going to cause a problem for you? It might look better without my hands in the picture. They can see it a little better. Yeah. And hoop earrings are just good for everyday wear, too. I mean, it goes with, since they're just gold, it goes with about every outfit that you can 
you can put together. I think my, the reflection from my shirt is shown in those earrings Thanks and they're showing a little more peachy color, but yeah, that's a, they are beautiful. The picture in the corner makes, they don't look, you don't see the rose gold too much, but they are rose gold. Yep. They are really, really pretty. They are 14 karat. Yep. 139.95 and that's a great price yep, they look new so they're very nice all right ladies there you go gentlemen nice mm -hmm. gift there for somebody that's sticking nice. with the same theme we're going to move over to some 14 karat yellow gold ones all right. and these are textured you got a little diamond cut action on them right there same same type of little flip down on it uh, they are they're not quite as thick as the rose gold, but they still are about the same diameter. They're not a whole lot okay, of difference between the two right about. there. They are so are 14 karat and yellow gold. All right. And now I'm just trying to figure out the latch on it. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a little bit beyond, it's, beyond it's, my comprehension It's pretty there. simple for most folks, but <laughs> I'm struggling with okay. it, obviously. <laughs> All right, little don't latch downs. Me. Sorry. That's all right. I mean, I didn't get to last week, so I'm just That's making good. up for it today. You make up for it. And you can see the little diamond cut texture to it. Close up, seventy nine ninety five. Good looking earrings, and those again, you know, everyday kind of wear. You zoom in on that texture just a little bit, maybe, so you can see. And you can see it's like diamond cut all the way around, oh, and like gives it a nice little, nice little finish on there. Let me tilt them up there, Ethan. Yeah. I say they're about the size of a a quarter, also, but they're just not as thick as. The, the rose gold ones we just had on, but they're still very nice looking earrings. All right. You like those? And folks who give us a second too, we like to buy things too. So like the antiques, broken jewelry, whatever you've got, you know, we're, we're interested in buying it. Antique pieces, but we really like the antique jewelry. That's right. Even if it's missing stones, doesn't matter. All right, moving on up, we have another, we have a ring now, back we to the ring. Back to the ring. And this is like an Etruscan type ring. It's got a heart-shaped amethyst in it with diamonds. The, the amethyst is bezel set, which means it has basically a, a tube rim all the way around it, so there's no prongs on it or anything like that. It's 14 karat yellow gold. Chad, I have a really legitimate question here. Okay. And again, you know, we've said so many times I'm not a big jewelry person because I'm mm -hmm. allergic to, so I've not worn a lot of jewelry in my life. I love mm -hmm. it. But, okay, so do you wear this ring when you're looking at the heart that I'm looking at it the right way or that the person that takes your hand is looking at it the right way? Or is that well, just a matter of preference? I think, just like the pear shape, I think that it should go bigger in to the point down your finger just because your like hand's right kind of shaped that way. That's how I think it should go. But... Is there an actual correct way, or is it just a preference? I think whatever somebody wants okay. to wear. I mean, I personally like looking at things. But you know, like, like, a, like a pear shape, if you turn around, you've got the point coming back towards your hand. It looks kind of odd okay. to me. I've never and then, thought about that. Like way. if you wore a band behind it, you're going to have a smooth edge on the backside. So. We had a ring on it. It was either last week or the week before. It had to be last week because you weren't here because I had mm -hmm. that. I put it on, and I thought, eh, I think that's upside down, and I really couldn't tell. So I guess that is. And that's really a beautiful stone there. Look mm -hmm. how deep Very purple nice, that is. Very nice, rich really purple. Nice. And what, what we've got that listed as what size on that? That is a size nine and a half right now. Like I said, it's 14 karat yellow gold. It's got little diamonds bezel set around the, the heart shaped amethyst there, too. That's it's a good really looking pretty. Ring. I like that. Yeah. It's got just like a really nice little design on it, as you can see. And it's tapered, too, so it's wider at the top and it tapers down to the bottom, as you can see from the picture. Yeah, that's But really it's, still, it's still a nice wide ring, you know, like a cigar band style. I like look. it. Mm -hmm. If it was white gold, I'd be taking it home with me today. <laughs> and we've got 929 on there. It's actually 429.95. We had made that change earlier, but it must have not programmed into. All the, right, so there so, you go, y'all. 429.95. Yeah, so 929 is a little bit much for that range, so we're going to almost knock it in half to 429.95. And we'll even take an offer on that too. So yes, you know, you give us a call. That's not set in stone, y'all. Always remember, we want to give y'all uh, a good deal. We've got that chat button on our website That's too. Right. You can click on that, and it'll go right to. One of the people who does the pricing is phone, right? That's One of the right. pawnbrokers that we have. Okay, let's go on to our... So, yeah, like you said, we've got a little chat button. If you go onto our website, mm -hmm. in the bottom right, you'll see a little red, um, like a bubble, looking like a message mm -hmm. bubble. You just click on that, and you'll instantly be able to chat with one of our pawnbrokers, just like if you call the number on the bottom of your screen, that 844-641-PAWN, you'll also be speaking with one of our pawnbrokers. And remember, it's 429.95, not 929.95. 429.95. 429 is a lot better than 920. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's very good. Yes. All right, we're up to our last right. item of this episode, so let's mm -hmm. put this over here, Ethan, yep. and get a good close up. And got a 14 karat rope chain with a 14 karat gold crucifix coming off. It's nine grams total for both pieces. It's like 7.3 grams for the chain and 1.7 grams for the cross. Uh, it's 499.95. It's beautiful. It's a 20 inch rope chain, nice diamond cut rope chain. Looks like it's about a two, two and a half millimeter. I think it's two and a half millimeter just looking at it. It's got a lobster claw clasp on it, $499.95. Beautiful piece right there as you can see the clasp and things like that. The cruise fix is beautiful too. 20 inches, if you wanted it shortened, you could do that too. We can shorten it down to whatever you need, but that's a, that's a good deal on that right there. That really is, $499.95, y'all. Item 4238. And remember, if you get something home and you don't like it, We've got a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can ship it right back. That's right. All right, so that was our last item of this episode of the Jewelers Vaults. We're mm -hmm. going to let y'all go very shortly, and mm -hmm. David and Gray and Grandma's Buffet is coming up next, mm -hmm. and you're looking at my arm there. Let's have got the camera problem here. That's what we love about here. live TV. Let's we'll, put this we'll necklace put the, back over we'll there. The there we go. <laughs> I was say, put the jeweler's dirty hand in there. There we go. So, my, hands um, are, my hands are, well, no, I did. I polished some stuff. On vacation, yesterday. you had a chance to get them clean. Well, but now they're dirty again. So. Okay. Well, mine are pretty clean. Doesn't so last very look, long. Mine look a lot better than yours, so I'll handle the jewelry, okay? Should I paint my nails? No. Not going to so. happen. No. I won't be on here with you if you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So we're going to go stay tuned for Grandma's Buffet with David and Gray. Yep. And we'll be back at the end of the hour with some more jewelry for you. We'll see you in a little while. Hey Facebook, it's Josh here from Pond South Carolina Beach Road. Check out a special item we've marked down from the shop every single day with our deal of the day. Also, did you know we specialize in buying and doing loans on luxury watches? Stop by the shop and see what we can do for you today. Hey guys, you might be asking yourself, is this for real? Well, the answer is yes. This is a live pawn shop show called Pawn Shopping Network. Now you can buy from us live, call in, talk to a live pawn broker, or you can sell to us. So give us a call. There you go. Here we are, Gray. That looks just like us, David. That looks like us right up there. Uh, that favors me. I don't know about you. Grandma's Buffet with, with David, David and, Gray. and Gray. We're here again, guys. And it's Christmas in, where are we at today, Bladenboro? I think we are in the Bridgers Building. Look David. at there. Downtown Bladenboro. By the magic of television, magic we're in Bladenboro, North Carolina. We're there, David. Don't anyway, guys, I, for those of you that are looking to get your Christmas decorations together and collect figurines. We've got some Charles Dickens Christmas today, right. don't we? Hey, it'll be here for you know it. I know nice. we're right here at July, oh, yeah. Christmas July, in July almost. July, August, September, they don't last very long. Be hunting season before long, and then next thing you know, everybody's got their Christmas out. David, I hope you've been good, too. Uh, so far, don't so answer. good, Gray. We won't answer that <laughs> on the grounds that it may incriminate me. All right, guys, we've got five sets of stuff here nice to stuff, show dude. you. And then we got a surprise for them at the end, don't we? That's right. A little surprise. A surprise. But at first, we're going to show you each individual set that we've got with the price and, uh, and go from there. The, and we've got the boxes for all these things, too, guys. They're boxed up in the original boxes. I uh, think the prices are, are, are great. And if you're looking for some collectible Christmas, you're in the right place today. Well, Dave, this stuff is real popular. There's a place nearby that sells a bunch of it, little villages that Callahan's we go. Callahan's of Calabash. Right near Calabash. There you go. But this stuff is very popular for the mm -hmm. ladies or guys that set it up for Christmas. But it is a little theme, David. Even we got That's Ebenezer right. Scrooge, I believe. Let's Was slide a little ways to the right and let Ethan get us shot yeah. of this first one the first one's real nice here guys it's called vision the vision of christmas. of christmas it includes the church the get little the bridge and three nice size figures there can we get a camera shot on two and see what it looks like it's coming up i bet that's the notting hill church too which is in where london england good shot they very yeah, good yeah we got to separate those somehow there's a the little bridge 
Here's the Notting Hill Church. Well, look at there. Ethan doing and a we've good got, job. We've got several. What are these? One's got a lamp post and. They we got a Christmas swing on reef. one. We got a little bridge. We got some reefs. The swing actually works. Those little two breezeway. Are swinging. But little breezeway. Forty-four ninety-five, David. Sixty forty-four for the Notting Hill Church. Nice little deal, David. A lot of That's detail right. on this stuff, as you see, but real pretty. But I guess each one price. of these is probably handmade and hand, I mean hand painted. Hand painted, course, right? Yeah. They do an excellent job. That's a good start to anybody. Said if you don't have one already, guys, that's a good start to a set of these things for your Christmas decorations. Well, David, that stuff can be high dollar. When I'm walking mm -hmm. around in there, they've got something for every little season, Easter, or whatever. This is Christmas. It scares me when I look at the prices. Yeah, it's, don't it's, drop it. That's what the sign said for me and you when we went in there. <laughs> it's a hundred. It's a hundred degrees outside, and there's snow on the roof caps. That's on right. Here. Only here on PSN, David. But good little deal there. Item sixty forty four. Mm -hmm. But nice little village. Yep. One That's eight four four six four one palm. But good camera work there by the King Ethan. I think. By the way, guys, this is, Ethan, last day. this is Ethan's last day with us. He's going on to else, a David. to a career. Yeah, he's and, growing uh, up on us, David. We've raised him from production. a young man. He's uh, <laughs> he's done his time here, and he's moving on. He's a very good video videographer, I guess you'd say. And but maybe he'll come back. He's going to put his things. skills to work. Yeah, maybe he can come back and help us out a little bit. But Ethan, we're glad. That you uh, you got your new new job lined up and everything, and right. wish you well. Let's march these little fellas over here, Dave. March them right on and over we'll there. And we'll have Dave. the village in the background. Actually, this was supposedly a five-piece set here, guys. The little uh, yeoman figures. Get a close-up. They're that. actually little soldiers. They look like the Queen's Guard or something, yeoman but they're figures. dressed up, ready to go. Good camera work there, David. As you see, the Can original the finger out the way. The original set was five. Well, we're we've missing only one. got four, right. but we, we're only showing three. We still have one in the box. Well, Dave, we still got him wrapped up, but it is right. missing one little soldier. We do there. have we've the, got four of the five. We do have the box for these also, and only six ninety five for all four guys. That's that's going to add to your collection very inexpensively there. Well, David, everybody's budget six ninety five. Like I said, in the box, the boxes we do have the box over there. Look at there. Sixty fifty. They're crossing the bridge. Going over the bridge, but David, that for that price, that's everybody's budget. But uh, you know, you could really get have, you could really get creative with this stuff. You know, sure. Crossing the bridge. We could do them on the guy other waving side. at him on the other side. Yeah, this is. As we go through these figurines, you can look, you can make you a nice little town set up out of just what we have That's here, right. Gray. But they have a lot of the little scenes are hand painted, a lot of detail right. in them. I mean, you can look at the village. The little guys with the beard, and it might be a little different on each one, but that's where they were hand painted. That's right. I want to say hello to all the guys that are out there watching us yeah. today. I know my son Casey's on here. Bunch of hell. Chris Souls, I saw him a while ago. Oh, hey, um, if I miss you, it's because I hadn't seen your name pop up. Put Cassidy Hills. I think Kim and Gray Rogers are watching us from somewhere. Oh, yeah. Well, hello. Justin Williamson, we appreciate you watching right. us, too. You better be watching us. Well, David, we want that. We want people on PSN to watch us, say hello, all that good stuff. You right. see something you want here today, give us a call. We'll them, help you out. Let them march right on Put back right over, over here, here Gray. What you got and, uh, next? Next, we're going to... Some we're trees. Gonna, yeah, we're going to get your forest situated <laughs> for the little town. There's one, two... One. Three... Let's put them on each side of the bridge. That way we'll use that same backdrop. We'll get we us another camera. need a couple camera. behind it yeah. there too, yeah. Give us a good shot there, Ethan. All right, guys, this is your trees for your village. There's an eight-piece set of these. You've got four of the uh, the Christmas tree shape and four of the round or oval-looking trees. Well, it actually looks like a Christmas tree, right. David, in the other ones, but eight total, like David said. Eight total, and we're 7 95 That's a buck a piece for your trees. Sixty fifty seven our item in the box, too. Like I said, we've got some more in the box, mm -hmm. still wrapped up in the little plastic. We do. Matter of fact, all of this stuff's in like new condition. Yeah. The, only, the only problem is we're missing the one, that's right. the one figurine out of the soldiers, the what? yeoman figures, but that's all. That's all. The rest of them are full sets, but call us, one 844 pond here on PSN. We can help you out. Again, like me and David said, 
Do a little early Christmas here, but David, it'll be here for you. Know it, big oh, boy. Yes. Seven ninety-five. And get it while it's cheap. And, well, David, That's what the you boss better. man said, make him an offer get on this stuff. Get it while it's cheap. This I'm is, not. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag either, right. David. Right. We don't need. Well, I ain't going to tell it all. We're going to go on. Back. You want to leave the leave a couple of leave trees. Leave a couple of trees for decoration. Yeah, because we're going to we're going to mark some other folks over there. Which what, are next pretty, here? Which we got next? David, we we got the little church. The uh, the actual church. The, oh, the big church. The yeah. big church. We showed that in the first picture, but we, we were doing that for the decoration. The church is next. It's already uh, in the background. Notting Hill Church. I think this is actually a, a remake of a church that's in London. It, that's right, David. Can I get a confirmation on that from the expert over there? Notting Hill is a real church, isn't it? I got a confirmation, guys. We're, yeah. We're doing good. Forty-four ninety-five, though item sixty. Forty-four on the church, but part of that set. And me and David's got the different little figurines in there where it looks like a little village. We can march the soldiers back That's over right. there, David. Let's get the a The church is forty-four ninety-five by itself. There um, it is. It comes with uh, well, it says five pieces there. What is the whole set? I know what it was. We missed. We 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 got out of line. Well, that's here. why we're going to bring up what we're going to bring up that's in a little right. bit, David. We got out of line. We we should have had this on first, but we didn't. We're sorry. But this is actually a five-piece set, guys. It comes with this and the figurines that we showed you to start with and the bridge. This is all one. We had a set of three figurines that we should have been on the first one, but we read it wrong. I'm sorry about that, but we'll show you in a minute which ones those are. And we'll why we may together. have done that. Exactly. Let's get some more figures, David, while we've got that little well, close up there. Since we got that, we let's got? go on. The last one we have is a the knife, knife grinder. Let's right get a here. close up of him. Actually, let's put these there. These the were the bunch. three figurines that were supposedly on the first. Now, David, there's for your dog choice. lovers. There's a little guy with a dog. There's Scrooge right there, too. But there's Ebenezer Scrooge, and we Ebenezer saw him earlier. Ebenezer's there. Yeah. There's some shoppers. <laughs> Looks like they're shipping him out of town. Yep. But we're leaving this for a purpose, David, mm -hmm. if you notice that village gonna, is growing. We're going to fix this up in just a That's minute. That's right. But 1495, but guys, Visions of Christmas, and there's Scrooge over there. All right. Nice little stuff. And the little puppy dogs, David. Now, I item, number, puppy dog. item number five here, we've got our knife grinder. Let's put him right up front. Let's put him up front, and then we're going to change all this around a little bit. Well, David, there's a lot of detail there. You can actually see knife the Knife grinder's wheel actually wheel got a, a lady and her, her child there watching him grind knives. Well, it might be the wife making sure he's working. These two figurines are fourteen ninety five. Okay? Now, let's do this. And leave you it can get me on full camera for a second, That's but Ethan, right. you stay right where you're at with the camera. Maybe zoom out a little bit. Let's march bit. them soldiers over here too, David. March those soldiers. Let's put them at the bridge. Spread these guys out a little bit. Maybe Scrooge you've is done there. this before. I haven't done this. That's beautiful. Put the guy back here grinding the knives and let the ladies watch him. People on the swing right beside the church. That's pretty. Soldiers marching across the bridge. <laughs> I think we got it down pat there, right. Gray. Let's get a close up of that, David. A couple little more Christmas trees village. here for the church. Yeah. But David, now look? let the cat out of the bag. What have we been leading up Guys, to? Guys, we've been leading up to this. We'll sell you the entire set. If you take them separately, they're coming up somewhere around $9,200, right. I believe. And uh, shipping is free. If you want one set, that's fine. But we'll sell you the entire collection here that you see, guys. For what do you think, Grace? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. The man said, "Sell it," and that's ship free for that price on PSN today. We'll box ship every one of these up in their original boxes. They come in the original yeah, the styrofoam boxes line boxes, such as the knife grinders box here. Guys, we'll ship you everything that's here for sixty dollars today. Dave, that's a good if deal. If you want them all, you can get them all at one time, and that sets up, gets you started on a Dickens Christmas right there. Dave, that, that is a good deal. But yep. that's what we were leading up to the whole time, the reason we did it like that. But everything you see there for 60 bucks, David, that's here on right. PSN County, today. We've got eight trees, four soldiers. There's a lot of pieces there that's right. for $60, guys. I think probably the larger church there would sell for more than that. With like 40 some, 50 some bucks. Anyway, and again, we're running out of time. Ethan's yeah. holding his hand up over there, guys. David and Gray, Grandma's, Grandma's buffet. buffet. We're going to be back in 10 minutes with some more neat stuff. And don't forget sound shopping with me and sound Alma. Sound shopping we're be with back Gray and Alma back. right up now. Thank you a lot. See Thank you later. You.
Hello everyone, this is Dale with Pond South of Hope Mills. I've come to you today as the Dale King of Hope Mills. I wanted to show you how you can save money on a daily basis. Check out our post and our Facebook page. Every day we will save you much, much, much money. So always remember, we're number one in the Carolinas and number one in your heart. The prices of these things will get you back to the good old boy days where <laughs> cash is king. I told you David yeah, was back. I'm back. David's back. All right. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. Now that was let's a good look, David. Hey everybody. You know, the smartphone is the store experience of the future. One of the reasons we launched this show. So log in to PondSouth.com and let's go pond shopping. Hey y'all, here we are again, sound five, shopping, sound my shopping. favorite part of pond shopping yeah. right here. It's a good part, we get to dance, sing, and play some instruments. Well, we don't actually do all that, not we, on camera, but may, if you can you see us know. behind the scenes, there's no telling what you might see. Maybe if you buy something, we might play a little something. Gray has actually learned to play the I'm guitar. Trying. that's right, the guitar. He learned a, a chord last week, was it the G chord? G of G, that's yes, right. Yes, all right, so this week he's going to learn a new one, we hope. I hope, that's, that's right. right, I'm Maybe working on it. Justin will take some time with you a little later and he teach has. that to He's you. done very well. Normally your mama's watching, I don't see her on today, so if y'all are watching, give us a thumbs up, let us know where you're at. Where are you watching from? Wilma, we want that. We feed off that. We'll say hey to you. If you got a comment, we'll try to answer it, whatever. But guys, we love that here on PSN. We want you to say hello. Where are you at? That way we know where we're going out to. Give thumbs us a up. thumbs up, a smiley face. Please, no angry faces. Yeah. Um, happy faces. Let us know, you know, just that you're pleased with what we're doing. And we're going to try to give you all some good bargains here. Well, life's too short. Give us a thumbs up, a smiley face. Those ugly faces, they stay ugly. That's all I'm going to say, Alma. That's right. All right, let's get let's started. Get you know, my favorite thing about being a part of this pawn shopping family is uh, learning and finding out about new things. I'd never even heard of this brand of guitar before. This a is Giannini. a Giannini. Giannini. Yeah. It's going to make me want to eat some Italian for lunch today. And there's a hint going out to y'all ordering lunch for us. I like uh, the nice. Giannini. He puts me in the mood for some, I don't know. Lasagna? Something. Lasagna, something. maybe? I don't That's know. Right. But anyway, so this is an Italian-made guitar, actually made in Brazil, by an Italian immigrant. Yes, he was. Tranquillo, Tranquillo Giannini. And it was, he started the company, fast. I know, right? He started the company in the early 1900s, and by like the 30s, his family was doing very well with it, and they started making all kinds of different stringed instruments. And even today, they're still making them. Wow. Um, they make bass guitars, electric guitars, all kinds of different instruments, uh, mandolins. Handmade though, awesome guitar. We do not have a case with it. I saw that. Um, it has a great sound, man. Justin picks this thing up every time he walks into the zero room or into this room and it's we're on display. A time earlier. Man, he just, <laughs> well, she can really play and sound so good anyway, but he just can really make this thing sing. Um, does have some nylon strings on there. You'll see that, it. but that's um, proper for it being a classical guitar, but really good condition. We don't have any close up, we don't have the close up camera for this segment right here, but. Um, if you go to the website, you can look this guitar up, and just like I said before, you can take your mouse and hover over that um, item that you're looking and at. Click on it. That's right. Zoom on it. It'll zoom in on it and give you some better the details. Detail. But guys, it's in good shape. It is used. I, I see a few little places, but it's in real good shape. It's kind of light, uh, but nice little item there, especially for that price. I'm a 229 Giannini. Giannini. 39.67. So a nice little guitar. And like I said, I've tried. But it does have a beautiful sound. If it I can does. make it sound like that, just think like somebody who knows. But that's a nice item. It does have a great sound. Nice. So if you're watching us, give us a thumbs up. Say hello. Like I said before, I'm trying to look at that. I see a few people watching. I haven't, yeah. I haven't seen anybody that I haven't mentioned yet. Let's move on to our vinyl collection you for this week. It. So um, have you, if you've been watching us in weeks prior to this, you know, in each episode of Sound Shopping, we feature some vinyl albums. Vinyl are becoming more and more popular today. And... This is um, why we have camera. them on here. We got them on that camera over there. There we go. So, That's the boss. So you got the boss up first. Is that Bruce Springsteen? There that you go. Is. This is the river. the river. This album was released in 1980. It was Bruce's first to go number one on the Billboard 200 and Gray had spent four weeks on the right. top of the chart. So that's a pretty cool album to add to your collection if you're a, a fan of the boss there. There you go. $39.95. $39.95 for this whole set here. So we're going to show you a couple more that's yeah. in the set. Not only do we have Bruce Springsteen, we've got 
Michael Jackson. We all know who Michael Jackson is. This is Thriller, a very popular album. Mm -hmm. If you could see David Moonwalking now, you would I be I saw getting... him dancing. That's, That's why right. Y'all right would have... We should have had the camera on that. <laughs> yeah, you okay. miss things, so, so we get to see it. You know, everybody knows Thriller was very popular. It was, it was a Michael Jackson's sixth studio album. All right. Well, Alma, that had Billie Jean, Beat It, I mean, the Thriller with Vincent Price, but just a great, great album, a lot of big hits, and, and second only to what? Um, the Eagles' um, right. greatest hit. So, I mean, it was a powerful, powerful album. Um, it, I think they said they 66 million copies sold. Wow. So, I mean, it's, like you said, the second, second selling album next to the Eagles' greatest hits. Right. And uh, it was the first album to reach platinum 30 times, 30 times platinum. So, that was pretty... Pretty powerful there too. Well, he it? left us too early. Very talented guy. I mean, either love him or hate him. He had a lot of controversy sometimes, but sometimes greatness does. But item thirty nine seventy six, thirty nine ninety five. Um, we got one more. We got one more. Yeah, and now y'all keep in, in mind that's thirty nine ninety five for this entire set. If there is one of these albums that you see that would complete your collection, and you don't need the other two, that's what that number at the bottom of that screen is for. Give us a call. Make us an offer. That's what we want you to do. So we might we we would just sell you the one if you wanted just the one. Well, here's I Leonard did that Skinner. a few weeks ago. I sold one of the albums out of a set. And we would. If somebody calls it, where would you break the set? Of course we would. Yes, we would. Yeah. All right. So this is One More for the Road by Leonard Skinner. Everybody knows the, the classic southern rock band there, Leonard Skinner. And this was a, a popular album, too. This was his, um, I'm sorry, it was recorded in, Alabama, in it's Atlanta a live Theater. Album, yeah, it's right. a live album. I'm sorry, I'm getting all tongue twisted. That's why they hired me to help That's them. right, and all these I'm people right off the camera was making me crazy. <laughs> so anyway, this was his first live album recorded, and it was the only one that was recorded prior to um, Stephen Van Zandt's yeah, That's right. death. So Lost all their members. That makes it you know, even more valuable, too, because right. Stephen Van Zandt is on there. So. That was before I'm that Ronnie Van Zandt. I'm getting the wrong Ronnie name Van Zandt. wrong. See, I, was I know to Justin's help shaking his head back there at me, and I saw it. So well, Ronnie Justin Van Zandt. Them. There we Leonard go. Skinner, that big groups there: Michael Jackson, Leonard Skinner, Bruce Springsteen. I'm a, I mean, everybody knows them. Yep. But nice album. All right, and again, you know, give us a call if if you want just one of those albums. So. Now, but that's a pretty guitar. I like bass this guitar. guitar. This is a this, this is a bass guitar. Great, you are learning so much. I'm, I'm so you. proud of you. Yeah, I'm doing better and better. So, I had to improve, though, right? <laughs> that's right. So this is a, a Fender Precision bass guitar, and it is like a reissue of the 1950s model. Like the first one that came out in the 1950s, it became the world's most recognized bass guitar. It was the only bass guitar that Fender made in that era. Um, but so they made this um, reproduction of it and reissued it and it's really cool. It's just got that cool classic it 50s really look. Um, excellent condition. I mean the back of that there's there. I mean yeah. great condition y'all. We have a good price on that six ninety nine ninety five. That's with a hard case I yep, see. It does come with a hard case. But you know this is just such a cool I just like the look of it and the feel of it. You got that nostalgic feel. You feel like you're back in the 50s. So they even got the little ashtray down here on the bottom. Yeah, a lot of people don't that know out. that. A lot of, they would take this off when they needed right. to, you know, adjust the strings and whatever. And the, most of the time, that didn't get put back that, put back on, and people used it as an ashtray. So there you go. If you need an ashtray, six ninety nine ninety five right here. can help you with we your guitar your needs. Today. And an ashtray. <laughs> there we six ninety nine. Item thirty nine sixty three. A pretty guitar. That is beautiful. Gorgeous with a case. Yep. All right, so we're moving right along. We're going kind of quick this afternoon, Gray. Yeah, but we're halfway through. That's is what right. Man said That's right. Ago. So this is a Honer Echo Harmonica. That's, That's kind right. of hard to say. Yeah. Honer say Harmonica. Far. I was really wa really worried I was going to mess that up, but we didn't. You did perfect. This harmonica is a really old one, and you know we are not selling this as an instrument for you to play, but rather one for you to put on display if you it would have. Would be a, more for looks. Yeah, it'd be more for looks because we you just don't want to resell that. It's not really right. well. Mathis, to play. Is that, am I saying that right? Yeah. Mathis Horner, yep. an old watchmaker. Mm -hmm. So you know he was a lot, a lot of detail. Those guys were just meticulous. Made in Germany. Made German, but yep. good stuff. But in the key of G, which I learned the other day on the guitar. Let's give him a close nice up stuff. over there on that camera. Let's see if we can e get that Ethan's with the box. Pointing us out to give a close up. So here we go. Well, if he wants to work all that, look how That's good right. he did. When we praise him a little bit, he does so good. But guys, the box there, you can tell a little age, but $39.95, is our item number, but nice item I'd number. I'd be interested to know. I don't know how pop. I know the harmonica has played a lot, and you think yeah. back then, 
in 1879, now that was a long time ago, y'all, in 1879, they were producing around 72,000 harmonicas a wow. year. So it would be interesting to know. I probably should have looked that up, but that was kind of a neat fact to learn. Um, that's quite a bit back in 1879, I think. Well, he was a busy little fellow. Yes, he was. That was he something sure was. Else. All right, and finally we're up to our last item today. We have a Deering Good Time Banjo. <laughs> This is a great little banjo. I'm still looking at the harmonica, though, and I'm off like $39.95. Wait a minute. So this is a great little banjo made um, by Deering. Um, they make some really high-end banjos, too. This is the, your, this is the lowest right. priced. It's still um, a nice one. Yeah. This is the lowest priced made American-made banjo, I think is what I read. I think I'm correct on that. But it's made with the same tools that they make. The higher end ones with it has a great sound. Maple, it was Those the woods that was showing. Maple on there. And maple ma creates a resonates a really good sound there. All right, so if you're a banjo player, this is really good for you. That's a great price, one ninety nine ninety five. Did we have a case with that one? Yes. Uh, yes, we yes. do. Case and it's with that one. Good condition. Now that thing almost looks brand new. Uh, I can picture some of the guys, old String Bean, Grandpa Jones, all those guys that played. Roy Clark, who we just lost too, but nice banjo. And you know, this one has such a good sound. I even read that a lot of artists prefer to record mm -hmm. with this one over some of those higher end ones. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a neat, you know, aspect there. So there you go, y'all. One ninety nine ninety five. There's your banjo. Justin was playing it earlier. It does sound really yes. good. Um, if y'all have any questions about any of the items that you've seen on today's show, you can give us a call with that 844-641-PON or hop over to our website, pondsouth.com. Click on the little red chat box in the bottom right corner and instantly be connected with one of our pawnbrokers. Ask any questions you'd like about today's items or well, any of the items on our Kenny's website. Kenny's in there. Now, That's right. Kenny's he manning will the phones the today. That may, if he won't sell it to you, I don't know who can, but he'll make you a deal. Guys, call in on that. Like I said, you see $199.95. But make, make us a deal. Make us, make make us an, an offer. offer. Any yeah. reasonable price, he said, will not be turned down. That's right. We're the only, that's right. We're giving you an opportunity yeah. to call in. We're the only shopping show that's going to give you an opportunity to call in and make an offer on an item. So come on, give us a call, make an offer, see what you can get it for. I guarantee you he'll make the deal. That's right. All right, Gray, this concludes sound shopping for today. Time flies. It goes by really fast. Um, Chad and I will be back in just a few moments with the last episode of the Jewelers Vault today. So y'all stay tuned. Thank you so much. Hello and welcome to Pond South Bladenboro. We are number one in the Carolinas at deals and cash when you need it. Drop by and see Jacob Higgs and the crew today for hand selected jewelry items, musical instruments, tools, and everything else that you need. And as always, y'all come see us. Hey folks, Kenny here at Pond Shopping Network. Thanks so much for logging in to PondSouth.com and shopping our wide variety and selection of jewelry, musical instruments, and collectibles. So once again, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in, and let's go pond shopping. Wasn't that a pretty setup? Guys up there on that. Wasn't bad, David. Picture of Grandma's buffet with David. They, they will wave and smile I'm at that you. Handsome. Yeah, yeah. that good. was taken a few weeks ago. By the way, we probably not that cool now. Are we? Yeah, we, we're getting older, David. Getting a little dragging around. Yeah, that was some good stuff y'all had on the uh, sound shop. Yeah, give really us was. a call on those items. Any of this stuff. I just saw Kenny come out just for a second, but he is man in the phone. I think the phone rang and he ran back. Wonderful. To get it. Appreciate that, guys. We've got some nice stuff here for yeah, you. Kind of a everything. mixed bag, a little bit of everything, but um, I've seen one of these before, but you know, we don't get to use them a lot around David, here. David, when it snows right here, though, get it out and play with That's it. That's right. Because it don't happen very much. The Royal Racer. That's right. Royal Racer. The Say first item quick. we got today, guys, is our Royal Racer uh, snow sled. Yep. Y'all have seen these around, I'm sure. This is probably from back in the 1950s. Uh, We're thinking the 50s, single, David. Single engine. Yeah. 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 Single engine job here, guys. You lay down on this, and you've actually got a little steering wheel, a handlebar up front. You could steer it a little bit it, and hang on, I don't on, think David. it's going to do much when you're going down that hill, but it might turn you in the right direction. Maybe. Anyway, guys, Royal Racer Sled. This is back from the 1950s, as we said. We're going to get a, let's get a, a close-up close of that one. See what He's a new on camera, too, today. 
Let me hold it like this. Dave, this thing about as big as you. <clears throat> I could almost get on it, Gray. Almost. Maybe a couple of years ago. See Wooden if you can give sled, us a shot Royal Racer. It's uh, it's in good shape to be its age. It's not uh, not beaten, banged up very right. well. Of course, the paint is faded off of it, and Dave's got it's character. got a little character and patina. Yeah, you can still see 95. it was red at one time, but that's probably right. about 60, 70 years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, well, Dave, these nails, the screws, everything is original. Like I said, it is, it is aged well. Right. A nice little item. Seventy nine ninety five, sixty forty two. Nice little wall hanger, guys. For the you. snow will happen, David. Yeah, it will. Be ready. PSN will even help yeah. you out with that. Yep. Shipping is free. That's right. Seventy nine ninety five, guys, for that Royal Racer. But Royal Dave, nice Racer. Nice item. It is, and we've got some good items this time. The snow sled, guys, is number six zero four two. Seventy nine ninety five, and great. Tell them what to do if they don't like that. Seventy nine ninety five. You, hey, you get, you make us an offer on That's this, right, David. Guys. Any make reasonable will not be turned down. We'll ship this to you or store pickup. But this guys, is, make an offer. Yeah, this is PSN. We're not QVC, are we? Right. We. Okay. It, it says seventy nine ninety five, David. I can't say any plainer to that. But I let's say offer sixty nine ninety five. See if you won't buy. Just you make sled. him an offer, guys. That's That's right. Make him an offer. Hang this on your wall because it's a neat there, looking piece. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Man. I'm gonna set it right down here, yeah, Greg. What we got next? We got us a jug, I think a three gallon. But I see the three on there. Maybe we can pick that up. But that is pretty good sized jug. That dude. is, guys. Heavy. We're not going to sell this one about a pound because you couldn't afford it. What's Ethan want me to say? It's got some weight He's to it. got some weight to it is so what Ethan would it. say. He likes that. A three gallon stoneware jug, guys. Great condition. As you know, these were used for various things. They they always That's relate a good them way to, to put that, David. Various relate them things. to moonshine, but you know, yeah. moonshine was That's actually That's some North put, Carolina ties. It was put in old bleach um, booths that they got there. they got out of the grocery store before they put bleach in them. You know. That's very true. Let's More get flowers, a, David. Yeah, get a camera two shot, guys, because this no, one has right. no dents, dings, no problems with it. It's uh, it's in great shape. Would yes, make a is. great vase for flowers. Would make a great thing. I, I can see that sitting beside somebody's fireplace. David, there's that three for three gallon. Right. But that would be pretty ornamental, I mean, if you put anything in it right. or not. Put Dave, you could put flowers if you wanted to. Put a few cattails and sit it beside your fireplace. Now, see, it I knew great, you was an interior decorator. You know where they can find some cattails. Yes, too, sir. We got them around Lake Walkamall. Sixty nine ninety five, sixty forty six. 46 David. That's it. And we got some people saying, hey. Yeah, what we, got? we do. Uh, Alma saying hey. Alma saying hey. Yeah. Hey, hey Alma. Alma. Who is Alma? You know her. Nice but sixty nine ninety five, sixty forty six for that. But three gallons, David. Whew, that's a lot. You had to Alma, drink she, all that now. She's she's the lady that cleans my changing room bathroom. Yes, yeah, she does right. sometimes. One eight four four six four one pawn. Give us a call on that. But nice item. We'll ship that out. Nice item, guys. Yes. Uh, usually we are careful about what we ship if it's too heavy, but. You buy the jug today, we'll ship it to you guys. Yeah, we'll always call. If some items, I'll if we can't, David, day. we'll let you know because of weight. Like take, David a, said. take a mighty good man to drink out of that thing. With. Well, lay it up there on your shoulder. Yeah, you I'm to. telling you. Well, we let got me turn this brown. around. This, this, this item here is the one that I wanted to show everybody because it's got some history, guys. Yes, it does. Let, get, go ahead and get the close up on that because yeah, they've got, got to see the there. detail because of the age. Let's get Ethan to give Let's us get a Ethan. shot. There. Ethan, give us a shot of that. It even says it on there, David. Guys, low and brow. Now we, we got some German brow. stuff there. Let me tell you, <laughs> low and brow actually started in Munich, Germany, back in the 1300s or so. One of the first, you know, breweries actually had in Germany. Um, they were still making beer during the war. This came from the World War II era, guys, and it's our understanding that these crates were only used back then to distribute beer to the German soldiers. This is a World War II era crate in real good condition. It is, David. It's it still got the original condition. spider webs in it, I believe. Yeah. No beer in <laughs> the, it, though. No beer it in it. It does have a few spider mm -hmm. webs. You reckon they come from Germany? The Lohenbrau <laughs> Company was, uh, they were distributing beer right on through the war up until 1945. What and happened then? The Allies blew them up. They blew up the beer factory, David. That's I'll, right. I tell you. Gray war, was, war or something. Gray was upset when I told him that, but yeah. they did. Didn't take them long to get back. In 1948, they came back into, into business and started distributing again. But guys, this is some old World War II history there. Right. This brewery's in Munich, Germany, and Anheuser-Busch bought them out 
years ago, and now they're still distributing low and brow beer, but it's uh, manufactured by Anheuser Busch. Right, but not in these crates. These not right in here, these. World War II era, just like David said, but been here a while. But guys, if you're in the World War II history, history of any right. kind, this is going to be one to add to your collection, even if it's military type stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. Add it to your collection because these are going to be, you know, very scarce to right. find. Well, they've very got a little price find. tag on it two ninety four ninety five, item sixty twenty five, but it is a little part of history. Got mm -hmm. a lot of age on it, David, and still in good shape. That, Y'all, that thing is still just as sound as it could be. Solid as it can be. Yeah. All right, let's go on to our next item. I'm going to set this down, guys, so right, I'll be man. right back. And Gray's going to pull our other stuff over here. The first thing we got is a grooming kit, which we could probably use around here. David, I'm going to leave it right there and go ahead and get it open. Did we give the price of that thing, the, the low and brow bit? I did not, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. I did. I did. I did. 298. Yeah. 290. For a piece of history, guys. 298. But that's another close one. Close up of that there. If David. you'd like to add that one to your collection, call and make an offer because it's. It's like David said, a little stone. grooming kit. Dave, we've got brushes, a little something. It might have had some uh, cologne, cologne or tonic, or the stuff you put on your hair. Lotion or yeah, hair all kind tonic. of stuff. Well, you got stuff for your fingernails, thing yeah. for your soap. It's got a United box. Air. You notice the United Airlines tag that's still on it. Somebody, somebody traveled with it, David, right there on it the handle. Also, the grooming case was on the top, guys. You could also put you some clothes, some shirts, or whatever yes, underneath. Right Plenty of room up there. underneath. Um, it was probably a dual suitcase and right. grooming kit together. Got a little storage for your here, socks. Baby. That's, that's your where socks and your, and your delicates. I had, I had one of those old <laughs> suitcases like that, and that's where I'd always put my socks. You probably still got yours, big boy. There you go. Ninety nine ninety five for that, David. But that suitcase, everything as you 1950s see there. 1950s era. We yeah. don't see a name brand on it, guys, but it, you know, it could have been made by one of the luggage companies such as Samsonite right. or something. But we they, don't they, know. Everything still works on it. The hinges right. and everything. 99.95, 60.29. But a little bit of history there, David. That mm -hmm. thing about old as you. Isn't it, it is. It's probably older, I would hope, from I the looks of that, that. that United Airlines tag. Yeah. Let's I trade do see here. a trademark on it there, though, Gray. But it's I, hard to make out, though, isn't it? It's very hard to make out. Take that, and I'll get, Grab the, that. I'll get your thermometer. The thermometer's last. Guys, this, your farmers will know what this is. The old Smith-Douglas right. Fertilizer Company. They were actually bought out years ago by Borden, which makes the, the milk and dairy products. Borden bought them out, and this one's actually one of the thermometers from Borden Company when they first took over. They put their trademark at the top, and under it put the Smith Douglas fertilizer. Right. Now, David, the thermometer does not work, and I believe we put right. that in there. We did. Well, that'd be an easy fix. You can get those little mercury filled thermometers, put that in there, that little wire, and it would work. But that's right. The age on it, David, just a lot of character. There's very, a very nice. Close up for Mr. Ethan, the king. We we have researched these guys. The price on there is not something crazy. We threw out. Right. One ninety nine ninety five. It's number six zero three three. Um, but make an offer on it. If you like this and you want to hang it on your wall, I can see that sitting in a Cracker Barrel somewhere now, can't you? Yeah, well, they, uh, they are known for mm -hmm. those old things like that, Dave, but they do have a little price on But here on PSN, we would take an offer. That's right. Six very, very rare find from what was in. And Smith Douglas makes the growing greater. Yeah. That's right on the tag there. But you got Fahrenheit, what, you got Celsius, but made in the USA. David, that thing's been here a while. It'll be here for a little bit more, but I can see that hanging up and somebody's little building she shed you know that's right but that is nice the man case but nice item here's the little thermometer where there it was on the back on that but you could replace mm -hmm. that david you sure could you can get in there and put a new thermometer and have a working thermometer with a lot of history to it a lot of yeah. a lot of look to it when the hot days come, y'all, the mercury rises, and that's what that did on that. That's right. A lot of stuff is digital now, but that was the old mercury feel where it filled up, and you could actually see when it was 100 degrees, right, David? Guess what? What? We are running out of time. I know, all the time. Every time I turn Guys, around, we've enjoyed to today's show. We're going to be back with you next week with some more nice stuff, but right now we're going to turn it back over to Chad and Alma in the jewelry sure. vault. If you see anything here you like, remember, give us a call. Make Kenny an offer today. He's manning the phones. On the Charles Dickens series, guys, $60 for that thing. entire set. It's maybe a great that's what deal. the call was about. That may be. <laughs> In other words, we're going to see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye. Anna here with Ponce South Elizabethtown. Check out and follow our Facebook page. We are posting daily deals that you won't want to miss. We're number one in the Carolinas at Cash and Deals. Stop by and see us.
Hey everybody, we're on a shopping spree. We're picking up some of the best deals at our stores to bring to you on our show and our website, PondSouth.com. Now let's go pond shopping. You caught us. It was transitioning. I love this live TV. It is just so exciting. And we get a countdown, but I was a little off on that. I think there was a time delay between here and the control room. There we go. <laughs> I was just fixing my hair there. Sorry. <laughs> oh, all right. Hey again, everybody. Hey again. Everybody's making fun of me, as usual, and trying to make us laugh. But here we are, live. Y'all, if you're watching us, give us a thumbs up. Let us know you're watching. Tell us where you are. If you see something you like, give us a call or give us a, you know, go over to our website and click on the chat box and tell us what sure. you'd like today. Last episode of the Jewelers Vault today, Chad. I guess we need to show some jewelry. I guess we do. It's getting right. warm in here. It is. It's hot, isn't it? It is. <laughs> All right, we're going to start off with... The last theme we had was some a lot earrings, of hoop earrings. Guess a lot what? of we got earrings, some more hoop today. earrings. Hoop earrings today. So These are tricolor, which okay. tri meaning white, yellow, and rose gold. Get my little cameraman over here. He's tending to something else. He needs. I don't really know what he's doing. I don't do know you? what he's doing. It's his last day he's slacking. He's slacking. Now he's, he's thinking about his head. lunch. All right, we'll give you a close up over here on this camera so y'all can see these earrings. 14 carat. Tricolor. They got like a little, little dime. They, they look a little, there we go. a little, a little more textured from the side, which you can see there. A little bit of you there. So yeah. they are tricolored. So you got your gold, your rose gold, and your silver, and your gold, white gold, yellow, white gold, white gold, yellow gold, silver, white gold, yellow gold, gold, rose gold. There we go. I'll you had right me saying silver. It's not silver. It's, it's white. Gold. White gold. White gold, yellow gold, and rose gold. That's right. There we go. Tricolor. Fourteen carat with the little flip down latch that goes through your ear and locks locks down. Forty nine ninety five. That's that's cheap for a nice little pair of earrings. It is. Every Good day price wear. right there, y'all. Yeah. Good price. They look the same on both sides. I'll turn that. But you know, as I've said so often in all of our, when we have items on here, you go to the website, find that item, take your mouse over it, and you can see the condition. It magnifies it, and you can mm -hmm. see the condition in much greater detail than what we can show you right here. All right, forty-nine ninety-five. Item forty-two thirty-two. Y'all, hop on over and take a look at that. We're going on to our next item. All right. What do we well, have this there? This is pretty too. You've got an emerald cut, emerald with a halo of diamonds around it and yellow gold, 14 carats, quarter carat worth of diamonds, going around the outside of the emerald cut emerald. It's a nice green color, it's very pretty. Size eight, I believe, yes, it's a size eight, 429.95. I can size that up or down wherever you need. And, and you can see it's got a beautiful green color to it. An emerald cut emerald. Yes, emerald cut emerald, which is basically a rectangle step cut emerald. Thank you for explaining that to me, yes. as you know I did not know. All right, that's a beautiful ring there. So emerald is what birthday, Chad? May. May. Did you say that and I missed it? Nope. Okay. But emerald is May's birthstone, or it's one of the major precious precious stones. stones yes. Yeah, so ruby, sapphire, emerald, majors. So you can wear it with any. Teaching so much on you here. You can wear it with any anything, preferably probably green. But there you go. You know, you don't have to have it for May birthstone to own it. I wouldn't think it would have been March's first time because it's green. That's aquamarine. I know, but I'm just saying it, it kind of don't make any sense. March, St. Patrick's Day, green. <laughs> I don't think okay. that has anything to do with it. 42, 33, 429, 95. Beautiful emerald quarter carat, quarter carat diamonds. There you go, y'all. I don't even know what else to say after the March thing. I don't, uh, I'm lost, <laughs> folks. I don't even know where to go from there. I'm going to be fired today. <laughs> All right, so there you go, y'all. This is for you. Give us a call. Hop on over to the website and oh, let yeah. us know. I'm trying to get the next pair of earrings up. And you can tell them a little bit about them while I'm trying mm -hmm. to put them on the... We've got some nice little dangle cross earrings here. It's that stampato look here. Um, they're on lever backs, which is basically where it just opens up and closes. It's got a little floridly look right here at the front of it. Give you a nice little dangle there. They're 14 karat. Two and a half grams, one fifty nine ninety five, and they're they're very pretty. I'll give you a close up of those over here. You can see it's got like it's got like pins that run through it, and then the pieces are squeezed down over the pins. So it's very flexible. It is flexible. really pretty, really yeah. neat looking. Looks like when they're hanging from here, it looks like it's a little dancing around oh, there. Can't get them on there even. Let's try that. Yeah, we're going to try to get you a close up of them so you can kind of see there. Do you see how it's got? 
She's got one of them backwards there, so you can't really see that. She's trying really hard, folks. She uh, is. Which one's backwards? Hold on. I wanted to see the back and the, the front, so uh, you see that's hey, the whole point there. There you go. You that was, that was a good explanation. Um, see, he was trying to make me look like I didn't know what I was doing. The and she time, did know what she was doing. The whole time I had a plan. There you and go. And I can't get my hands out in the way. I don't want to straighten that out, but y'all, there we go. My hands, my hands. I don't know what to do with my hands. One fifty nine ninety five, and you can see there the little piece on the front of the lever back gives it a little, looks like a little florally. I know it's not, but it kind of gives you that look. And you can see the little pieces. you got the pins that go through them, and they're, they're very flexible. And look really nice when the light hits mm -hmm. them, so it's really pretty, y'all. Nice looking pair of earrings. And again, that close-up picture in the corner up there, y'all can go to the website, mm -hmm. hover over that, get a good magnification of that detail, and mm -hmm. you'll see it much better. So that is really pretty. I really like that. Very, Very nice looking. looking pair of earrings. Very nice. One fifty nine ninety five. A great price. All right, moving on to our next item. This is for the men. Oh, no, so I like this. Especially, man, it's a men's Onyx Masonic ring. I like just saying that. It's an Onyx Masonic ring. Onyx Masonic. Onyx, Onyx Masonic. So how would you wear that? That way? Or flip it around. You're going to tell me the same thing again. Like you know that. what? That okay. I don't know if you want people to see that you're a Mason or if you want to just. Probably, I think that you can probably remember that you're a Mason if you are, but you know. There's probably a it. proper way to wear that one, yes. and I might get it wrong, so y'all forgive Mason, me. So, so we 14 karat yellow know. gold, 429.95. Got a little diamond on each side of it. Great detail there, y'all. That's it's pretty. a size 11 right now. It's and a good you can size ring. this up or down? Yes. Okay. It's a beautiful ring, it looks brand new. Practically, that's what everything on here looks like. I mean, we've got it. We always refinish it, make it look nice. And I'm sure that if you order the Masonic ring from a specialty company, you pay a lot more than that for it. Size 11, we can size it. 30 day money back guarantee, so you can't lose. There you go. Beautiful ring for those of you mm -hmm. who might know somebody who needs one. Maybe they've lost one and would like to replace it. Mm -hmm. All right, 4237, y'all give us a call. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a message on Facebook. Call us up. Make us an offer. We chat can't say us. that enough. We can't say that enough, y'all. Hit the red box and chat. There you go. Hit the red box and chat. A lot chat of ways to chat. communicate. All right. Moving on to our last item. We've got a nice little angel disc here. It's on a, I think it's a 30-inch rope chain. It's like a 2-millimeter diamond cut rope chain. 14 karat yellow gold, as you can see here. Spin it around here a little bit. That looks like it's about the size of a dime. A dime. Yes. Okay. Very good. We agreed Very on Very detailed, you can see there. We did agree on that. I was on there is Roche. a little inscription on the back. It says. Uh, can you see that? May God. May, I'm going to turn on get this way and read it. So I'm going to get here. There we go. May God's angel. Is that what it says? Yeah. I can't read it. May God's angel provide protection. I should have read this beforehand. Hold on. In the new wisdom. In the new millennium. Millennium. There you go. See, I can't read from over here. And, and it has a date of 2000 stamped on the top, so you know. Well, there you go. Well, I just got that all out the camera there. Very yeah. beautiful. He so says you, very detailed. You know, very you might have had um, a child that was born in 2000, and mm -hmm. this might be a good keepsake or something. To, 469.95, yeah. and it's on a 30-inch rope, and it has a barrel clasp on it, which is the one that you have the barrel in and another little tongue on the other side, and they kind of slide together and latch over. There's you the can class see right there. there. She's gonna show oh, you. I was gonna show you She's that. Gonna flop a little bit. I'm gonna throw you. it all around. No editing here. There. No, there we go. There you go. See? Yeah, edit live stuff there. Little there we go. Barrel clasp on it. Beautiful. Very safe. 30 inch. If you wanted it like an odd length, 26, 27, 28, 29, that. somewhere around there, I can shorten it for you and pack it up and send it to you at the same time. All right. So that was our last five items today, Chad. Mm -hmm. We are grateful that y'all shopped with us today and you joined us for this hour and watched every episode. <laughs> Stay tuned next week. High noon week. right here. High noon. Let's do some pawn shopping. Noon. Yes. Y'all take folks. care. We'll see you again. Hey, so we've got a little something special today. As you guys know, <clears throat> this is Ethan the King Cameraman's last, last day. It was full time. time. He's got a full time, time job. job. He's only Come on, here here Ethan. Time. Awesome. Come on out here, Ethan. Get in the middle here. We've had you behind the, the camera middle. so much. We want you in front of the camera for, for this moment. Show everybody who you are. Listen, I told Justin I was going to put you on the spot. What's been the most interesting or fun thing that you've experienced here at Pawn Shopping Network, Ethan? Hmm. Was it the snake in the studio? There was a snake in the studio. <laughs> there was. But probably the most interesting thing is what happens behind the scenes when they're doing their show. 
and David and Gray are back there dancing. <laughs> that would be very interesting. <laughs> Thanks so much for everything you've done. It's been fun. You're not going to be totally gone, but you're, you're leaving this position. So thanks and, for all And this is, this, is, this is who's referred to as the king. He's the king, the, the cameraman. Good morning, Mrs. You want to dance? Sure. We don't need that. Move on. I'm going to say no. Turn the cameras off. Give me a good one. Time. Turn the cameras off. No. Turn them off. Oh, we we need need all right. Here's your phone. Okay. We'll see y'all next time Thank right you. here. Pawn Shopping Network, please join us. Let's go Pawn Shopping. We did a turn.